Is your phone charging as fast as promised? Do you need a special cable and charger? How long does it take to fully charge your phone? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker, and smartphone charging isn't always as easy as just plugging in your phone. But don't worry, that's what I'm here for. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy, please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is our Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra charge test. Last year, you might have caught our S22 Ultra charge test. And on paper, this year's S23 Ultra results should be exactly the same. Both phones have the same battery capacity, 5,000 milliamp hours, and both support 45 watt charging. During this test, I use this cool cable that shows you how much voltage passes from your charger to your phone at any given time. It taught me a lot of things, which I'm going to get into later, but more importantly, it also helped me verify that I was getting the promised 45 watt charging speeds. But there is an easier way. When you plug your S23 Ultra into a charger, you'll see either the words super fast charging or super fast charging 2.0. The former means you're charging at 25 watts, the latter 45 watts. So if ever you're wondering if your charger or cable is doing its thing, then you can refer to this quick and easy test and we'll do it together in just a bit. This may come as a surprise, but not all USB-C cables are built the same and the cable you use might affect the speed at which you are able to charge your phone. 3A cables are the most widely used USB-C cables in the market today. The cable that comes in the box along with your S23 Ultra is a 3A cable, but there's also something called a 5A cable. Samsung sells them for $24.99 a piece. Mine came bundled with Samsung's 45 watt PD power adapter, which I purchased for last year's charge test. 5A cables carry more voltage and can not only power phones, but also laptops, which is why they are usually thicker. They are often clearly marked. See here, it says 5A. Now, using that on-screen test I talked about earlier, you'll find that even if you use a 45 watt charger, using the bundled cable won't give you super fast charging 2.0. See, it doesn't even say 2.0. Now, let's remove this cable and use a 5A cable. There, now it says super fast charging 2.0. So, there you have it. For 45 watt charging, the bundled cable is useless. And I don't really understand why Samsung couldn't just have bundled a 5A cable in the box. That way, users, as long as they buy a 45 watt charger, can fully appreciate and enjoy the speeds or the charging speeds for which the S23 Ultra was designed for. On Amazon, if you can't find a 5A cable, look for a 100 watt cable. It's the same thing. I bought a two pack of these Anchor 100 watt cables for $17.99 and they work great. My friend and fellow tech journalist Miriam Joie also gives her recommendations on what to look for when buying a charging cable. Buy a 100 watt cable or 5 amp cable. 5 amp doesn't solve the problem. 100 watt is really the thing you wanna look for. If you wanna really go crazy, buy a Thunderbolt 4 compatible cable. Most of them are 100 watt by default. And then you can do Thunderbolt as well, like displays and really fast drives and stuff. Of course, to get to 45 watt charging, you also need a 45 watt charger. I say at least, because charging tech is smart these days, that even if you get a 90 watt charger, you'll be fine. Just not anything lower than 45. For context, the iPhone 14 Pro Max supports 20 watt charging and the Pixel 7 Pro 
30 watt charging. Samsung sells a 45 watt GAN charger for $49.99, but I recommend this one from this video's sponsor, Anchor. The company just launched their Ace chargers for the Galaxy S23 series. This Ace 45 watt or Anchor 313 is much more affordable at $29.99 and it's also 30% smaller. Here it is side by side with the Samsung one. When you're done charging, you can tuck the plug away before you throw it into your backpack. Anchor Ace chargers have multi-protect technology with 10 layers of protection. It regulates current and protects against over voltage and overheating. You can also use it to charge other Samsung Galaxy devices, other tech that requires power delivery like your Nintendo Switch, and also your iPhone, and your iPad. If you own a Galaxy S23 Plus or S23 Ultra, you'll want Anchor Ace 45 watts. If you own the Galaxy S23, there's also the Anchor Ace 25 watts. I'll put links to all these products in the description box below, and we'd like to thank Anchor for sponsoring this video. Okay, now to the actual charge tests. Here's why you'll want 45 watt charging. A 10 minute charge will get you to 27% from zero. By 20 minutes, you're already at 50%. After half an hour, you've got 70% juice. A full charge took one hour and nine minutes. That's for wired charging. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra also supports 15 watt wireless charging. For this test, I used Samsung's just launched SmartThings station, but any 15 watt Qi charger will suffice. Obviously, wireless charging will take longer than wired charging. You'll get 20% in 20 minutes, 50% in 50 minutes. A full charge takes one hour and 58 minutes. So about double the time as wired charging. And for those who are curious, the S23 Ultra doesn't charge any faster than the S22 Ultra, which means no improvements to charging this year. In the grand scheme of things, it puts it way in the middle. It's faster than some, but it's not the fastest charging tech currently out there. So is 45 watt charging worth it? Let's review what we've learned this year. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra supports 45 watt charging, which delivers a 50% charge in 20 minutes. But there are caveats. It will not work with the cable that comes in the box, and you will need to buy a 45 watt charger also. All that said, I think it's definitely worth it. Just don't buy the Samsung cable and charger because they're expensive. Go out and buy an affordable option and enjoy 45 watt charging speeds because once you do, you'll realize it's one of those quality of life improvements that you wouldn't want to go without. Guys, if you intend to buy a Samsung Galaxy S23 smartphone, whether that's the S23, S23 Plus, or S23 Ultra, I highly recommend that you consider pre-ordering up until February 16th because Samsung is offering a $100 Samsung.com credit and if you use my links below, you'll get an extra $50 of credit for a total of $150. So go ahead, use the links down below. And that was our Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra charge test. For more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.